Hello there, it's Coach Ben. Um, come with you the second session of our family football sessions from Saturdays. So I'm just going to go through a number of things that we're going to be doing today. It's going to be a bit of strength and conditioning at the start using our football. And then we're going to move in to some turning, some basic skills. But you can, I, I will advance the skills. Uh, and it's down to you, you can stay on the same part that we learn and keep practicing that, go back to the video and uh, and see if you can you can get to the level that I'm doing it at. Uh, it would be great if you was. And, um, and let's just have some fun doing this. So, I've got a number of footballs over here. One's good enough, but I have got about eight footballs <clears throat> just to keep the rhythm going in case one of our passes or whatever we're doing the ball goes astray leaf can get straight back into it because we've got a few more footballs on standby so make sure you have a bottle of water ready and let's begin so we're going to start off just with our lunges foot either side of the ball bring your knee down just going to go one two three four five six seven up to ten Change leg. Three. And set. Change leg. Now I'm just going to move my foot forward a little bit further in front of the ball and touch the touch the foot with my shin so I'm actually going down a little bit further this time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake them off. Now we're just going to pick the ball up. We're goalkeepers out here, we should be using a W hands to pick the ball up, making a, making a W of our hands up to the score. We're just going to touch down, stretch our back a little bit and our hips and down to the floor. One, keep my legs straight. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Try and go a little bit further back now. Eight. Behind your heels if you can. Nine. And last one, just hold it down there. Ten. And release. Shake them off. Same up our groins. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Bring them back in. One, two, three, four, all the way to ten. <coughs> two more. One, two. Right, shake them off. Now, down to our sit ups. I've got a rebound net. You can use a wall. Or an assistant if you have one. I'm just going to get down my set up position. Going to do 10 of these. Pull back and up you come. When we get up, throw, catch back down. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. There's a nice gentle warm up. And now let's start getting into our football stuff. So check my plan, have a drink of water. So this next part is gonna be all ball mastery. All ball mastery. Just gonna get in the rhythm of just rolling the ball. Tapping it forward with our instep, other foot, 
just getting used to the feel of the ball. Just for about 15 seconds. See how it's feeling. Roll it back, in step push out. And then after this, we're gonna change it to our toe, a, toe, a roll back and a toe push. Oh, five seconds. And just watch this one, just roll it back and touch it forward. One, two, just like that. Now when I say toe, it's not the end of our toe. Picture our toe as being flat and we're just pushing it forward. And the other foot. And this is my right foot. Not as good as my left, so my left comes natural, my right, I have to concentrate. Now it's a hot day, so just take it easy. And now we do double foot. Now what we're gonna do is gonna move this into a skill. It's gonna it's got a flip flap, inside flip flap. Ronaldinho uses it a lot. So, I'll just show you the skill first off. That's a heel, and then a push. So slowly. So the start of that is just pushing it out with the heel first. So roll it back and use the heel just to push it forward. So we're not using our toe or instep, we're using the, the instep of our heel just to push it forward. So right back, and just really make sure it hits that heel. It's not your instep, it's not the end, it is right on the heel. Now why we use, why we be doing such things like this is to help us in a game, or when we're playing around with our family we can trick them because now I'm just gonna move it for move it to the hill now so a little flip back one two one two one two one two It'll work for another 10 seconds because my feet are hurting a lot as well. So another 10 seconds, just concentrate, getting that right. Got twist your body and your hips. And just take a break there. So it's a good warm up for us. We're going to move this skill into something a bit more game related shortly once we've got the technique down. So, let's just get back into it now. Another minute. Use one foot if you need to. Just trying to move the ball in one motion. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Shortly we're gonna move into our Iniestas as well. Right, last 20 seconds, let's try and challenge ourselves again faster. And break it there. Very hot day. We're gonna move into our mini esters. And you can see I've got a goal set up here for, for our targets. 
So, Iniesta's, just get the ball moving in between your feet like that. So it's gonna go for about a minute of this. Can we try and move back a little bit while we're doing it? And then come back forward. And we're going to move that. And forward. And my legs are burning. I'm going to do one more. Back. Now try and go fast. Try and push ourselves. Okay, take your one minute break, have a drink. Now, what we could do is, if you have that rebound net or your assistant there, now my rebound net's a small target, so a wall would be more preferable to keep it going. So we're just gonna play a pass in. <coughs> Here I have a wall, well it's a bit of decking actually, but it's flat so the ball will come back as long as I make a low pass to it. And my rebound net there. I'm gonna make a pass into the rebound net, I'm gonna control the ball, I'm gonna make a pass into the decking, into the wall, control it, set myself again, and back in. Like so, so we're just gonna work for one minute, take your time, get the technique right. In step, right foot, control, pass it there with your left foot. So working on both feet. So I've got right foot pass here, control, and then left. Control. Try not to kick it too hard, because otherwise it might be difficult to control. So pass, in step. We're going to move this into a little turn shortly. We're just getting the technique right, getting the bounce right. Make sure you've got a nice ball. I feel like this one's a little bit flat. Get an exchange ball. Bring in the green machine. Here we go. See that turn there? It's a quiff turn. Stop it, roll it one side, back for your legs. And a quiff turn. Working on the quiff turn. Even if it gets away from you, it happens all the time in games. It's how we recover from that. Can't be perfect all the time. Just a control and a quick turn. Oh, 30 seconds. Two more. And take a break there. So, using a cross turn to full defenders.
Also change direction as quickly as you can. Get us out of small out of trouble in small places. So I worked on the inside flip flap, inspired by Ronaldinho. Now it's a quick change of direction, heel toe, and then pass. Comes back, heel toe, pass. Heel toe, pass. Just work for a minute on that. And the better you get it, you can then throw in a feint, like a... Now we can throw a pass in there. Pass. Inside, flip flat. Now he's hit the, he's hit the edge of the rebound net. there because I need one. It is hot. So, got our strength work at the start. We know the basics of how to use a flip flap and how we can speed it up. We can use the feint, throw our arm out, and go in the other direction. We've got the cross turn. We've got the rebound net. Ball comes back. Both feet passing. What's next? Well, I've got my target area out here. So I've got one line with the other post, top corners, top corners, and in the middle. And I've also got the cones down at the bottom where we can hopefully try and play some finesse shots into them corner areas. That's where the goalkeeper's danger zones are. Very difficult to get down to them. So, here's the challenge. I like to move with our skills into the challenge. So we've got something to game related to do at the end. I've got about eight balls, eight, 10 balls. So I'm gonna go pass in, paint into my rebound net, quick turn or flip flat turn. When it comes back, I want you to turn out and shoot in them danger zones. So, that's one for me, one point for me. Here we go. So, instant ball, rebound net, control, flip flap, turn it back round. Now, one of my guys. I turn, hit the right foot. Side netting. Oh, it's gone in the garden. <laughs> gone in the garden. Turn. Bottom corner. A little turn, posting in, right foot, absolute belter. Through the leg, top corner, two more balls. Last ball. Not quite in the corner. This is the time to take a break. Go collect the balls. And then we'll just finish on one more of them. And then take a break, so.
Good work, good 20 minute workout that one. Cone, this area a little bit smaller now. If you hit the cone, it counts. If you get it inside, you get bonus points. So, before we go into that, we're just going to do some just to cool down, recover before we go into the next activity or well, the same activity, but do it again. We're going to just practice our keep ups now. A good way to practice our keepy ups is just to do one kick into your hands, then the other foot into your hands. So you want both feet, always want to work with both feet. And once you've got that easy, just try and do one, two into the hands. One, two, and then we get three, and then four, five. Six, seven, eight, and then so on. Aiming for top corner with a volley there. Just went over the bar, nearly into the neighbor's garden again. I have to go get them in a minute. Okay, so, not a great idea wearing black today in such a, such a sunny environment. Last one, before we finish with our cool down. I'll put the rebound at the other side. So I'm working on the other foot. Okay, here we go. Question. Now into the corners. Got the cone first time. Absolutely nailed it. Oh. Question. Lace is coming undone. Three more. Let's hit the man in the middle this time. Now the man on the left. No, no, no. Last one. Turning, finishing, ball mastery, strength and conditioning at the start. Football activity in a garden. Now, if you haven't got the luxury of having a, a goal, then just put targets there, like dustbins, and use your imagination to, to make up a goal. Go jumpers for goalposts if you need it. So, thank you if you watched it. I enjoyed it, great workout for me, and look forward to coming back to you next Saturday with another session. Have a cracker, stay safe, stay home, football will come home.